Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I bring you another wash day video. I mainly want to show you my DIY protein treatment. This protein treatment includes egg and avocado. Eggs have been used for years, but when the natural movement started, there was a lot of talk about how the protein in egg is too big to actually penetrate our hair strands. And also for the protein to be able to penetrate our hair strands, it has to be hydrolyzed so for that reason I, I haven't really tried eggs for years but I saw this youtuber called um, Mercy Gono I'm gonna put her details below in the description box another reason why I decided to try this egg treatment again is because I follow another lady called Curly Chemist so she's a chemist and she knows a lot about product and all the chemistry side of everything and she has a video about why egg is actually good as a protein treatment so that's what I'm going off because clearly she's an expert so if she says it works that's good enough for me so I'll put um, the link to that video below as well so you can go and have a look for yourself before you try this protein treatment so without further ado we're going to make it together and then i'm going to show you how i apply it to my hair and then show you the results before i use my egg i make sure that i wash it and i'm also just using one egg and then i'm using half of an avocado so just cut it in half and then splice it into little pieces get it into your little blender and make sure that you get every little bit because avocados are not cheap so once i do that the rest i just wrap it in a cling film and then put it away in the fridge so next we're going to add our coconut oil so i'd say two tablespoons of coconut oil followed by avocado oil two tablespoons as well and then some honey so then just quickly blend it making sure that it's very finely blended because you don't want any bits in your hair so I added more oil <laughs> so that's two tablespoons of avocado oil so I've decided to add some coconut milk I just want it because I feel like maybe this might not be enough for my hair so just to give it a bit more creaminess and some body so this is some that I had left in the fridge I'm just going to add that to it so I'm just going to pour what I think is a tablespoon so that's that I'm just going to apply that to my hair so I'm going to start by separating my hair into four sections. This is just um, hair that has been braided and then combed out. So I sort of got the blowout look without the heat and I washed my hair last week and then I'm going to wash it again this week. And that's because I just think my hair needs some kind of real protein. So now that that's done, I'm starting from the back and I've got my Fenugreek and Bayleaf hairspray. I'm going to put the video for that up here so you can have a look. So that's just to moisturise it a little bit before I go in with the mask. And then I'm going to finger detangle. So I apply the deep conditioner and then I also detangle whilst I am applying it. So you sort of just kill two birds with one stone. So make sure you apply it to the ends and to the roots of your hair. It actually doesn't smell of egg. It smells of um, avocado and a bit of coconut milk. So people say it stinks, but it, it doesn't really have a smell. The smell is not that pungent. It's not that bad at all, so I don't mind it. And it's not too bad with the slip that it gives. 
like my hair it's not like totally slippery but it's not it's not making my hair hard to finger detangle so that's good this is why I love wash day on stretched hair because with stretched hair there's just not a lot of tangles and even if there are they just come out like all these they just come out very smoothly there's no snags and it's just less hassle so I'm actually thinking of changing my my hair routine to go from always keeping my hair unstretched or fairly unstretched like in twists and stuff to actually go into threading so that my hair will be this stretched which will mean that it will be less prone to breakage it will be easier to care for because detangling will be a breeze so remember how I said I didn't think it would be enough there's about two tablespoons left so I'm just going to go around and then just apply it to my root and just to the rest of my hair as well so it's important to apply your treatment to your edges as well and don't forget your roots even though your ends are the oldest part your roots are important because that's where your hair growth is coming from so do not neglect it i'm going to then tie it up with some cling film a plastic bag and then over that my headscarf just to create some heat it's been about an hour so to wash my hair i am using the flora and curl shampoo and then i am going to follow up with the revlon realistic strengthening conditioner and it also provides intense moisture so that's the main reason why i'm using it just to balance the protein a bit so this is a sulfate free shampoo i don't use it very often because it gives me this squeaky clean feel which i do not like and although it doesn't have any sulfate i think it may be a clarifying shampoo which is probably best for this kind of treatment because you really want to get all the eggs out to make sure that the water that you are using to wash your hair is lukewarm or as cold as you can possibly get it because you do not want any scrambled egg situation i've just washed my hair it feels moisturized um it feels moisturized but quite strong as well so that's good i'm going to go in with my conditioner so i'm going to put it back in twist and then leave it for about 15 minutes before i wash it out so it's been about 15 minutes so i'm just going to wash out my conditioner yeah my hair feels a lot better <laughs> it's not feeling too strong like the first time so also make sure that you wash out your conditioner with cold water as cold as you can get it that is to just seal your cuticles and just to reduce frizz mm -hmm. it feels really nice and moisturized i love it i am all done now and i just want to show you the end results of my diy egg and avocado protein treatment so this is my hair after the treatment i like how it feels the roots were very moisturized but the ends sort of felt very fluffy like it made it curl into itself don't know how to explain it <laughs> since filming this video i have done my research and i've learned that homemade protein treatments are actually good for the nourishment and strengthening of the hair shaft externally so it can help to prevent fallout and breakage but if you really want maximum results you really want to use protein that can also penetrate the hair shaft so it's important to not do homemade protein treatments in isolation but to also every now and again use protein treatments that also nourish the inside 
off your hair to actually strengthen it from the inside so this is something to keep in mind if you love diy make sure that you're switching them up for hydrolyzed protein which you would usually find in shop bought protein treatments so let me know if this deep conditioner is something that you have tried i'd like to know your experience with it and maybe your variation of this deep conditioner um i think it's something that i will make again i love what it's done to my hair it's very um it's very fluffy and i really like that so yeah so i'm going to style tomorrow because it's it's late thank you for watching and make sure you're subscribed and I shall see you in my next video.